Hey everyone, Vincent here from XDS Productions and welcome to another video tutorial. Today in this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create that nice 3D text shatter effect that you're about to see. So here's what I'm going to be creating. As you see here, we have the nice 3D text shatter right here. We have some lighting going on, some motion blur. And basically everything looks really nice and slick. And it looks something that, that you would see in a movie or a trailer or something like that. And I have to admit that I did take some of Andrew Kramer's methods and style and apply it to my own works. So basically, I took what I learned from his 3D, ta 3D text shatter tutorial. And I pretty much modified it, add my own twist to it. And basically, this is what I recommend you do on my video tutorials as well and anything at all. Take what you learned and modify it and make something cool, something different. So let's get started with this video tutorial. Let's create a new composition. And I'm going to name it text. I'm going to make my width 1920 by 1080. 16 by 9 aspect ratio, 29.97 frames per second, 20 seconds long. Pretty much basic stuff. You can change the settings to whatever you want and pretty much mess around with everything. So click OK. So now we have a blank composition. I'm going to hit Control y or Command y on the Mac. I'm going to name this layer BG, make it, same comp, make it comp size, and pretty much make it black. For now, it's only temporary. So now we have a black, solid background. I'm going to go to Layer, New, and create a new text, and pretty much type whatever you want here. So I'm going to type in XES Productions. I'm going to highlight, I'm going to highlight it and make sure it's completely white. So completely white, and I mean completely white, like so. And I'm using Bank Kothic MDBT, similar to what Andrew Kramer used in his video tutorials, and I love this font, I use it a lot, so you can check that out. You can download it on Google, search it up, Google search it. And so now I have our text, and pretty much what you need now is a metal texture. I'm gonna import my metal texture. You can find any metal textures on the internet. You can find royalty-free metal textures on DeviantArt. There are tons of metal textures on there on the internet. I post the link in the video description so you guys can find some cool royalty free stock footage metal textures. So basically once you have your texture, import it and place it underneath your text layer. Hit S on the keyboard and scale your text layer down or up and make it just a little bit wider and larger than your text. So just a little bit wider. That's looking good. And what we want to do is go hit toggle switches down here. It should say toggle switches slash modes, click that. And you see track mat right here. If you already see track mat, that's fine. Just change the track mat of the texture layer to alpha mat. So what it did now is to apply the texture to the white of your text. So that's why we made it white. And I'm gonna pretty much click on the text on uh, the texture and pretty much position it to where it looks good. Right there. Looks good. Make sure it's not disappearing or anything like that. And I'm going to increase the contrast of this. So I'm going to go to color correction curves. And I want to bring out the scratches. So I'm going to bring up the highlights and decrease the color a bit. So it's pretty much dark except for the scratches. So just some color correction. And what I'm going to do now is duplicate this text layer right here. So click on the text layer, press Control D or Command D, turn it on. And then I'm going to change the color to white to black, pure black. And then I'm going to change the mode to add. And I'm going to duplicate it. And then go to the effects and presets and search bevel. And select the bevel, bevel alpha and apply it to, to the top one, top text layer. And change the light angle to zero. Then apply the bevel alpha again to the bottom text layer. And change this light angle to 180. So now we have our nice metal chrome looking text. And then we're going to create another composition. Name it 3D text. Same settings as before. Go back to the text layer and delete the background. We don't need that anymore. And just go ahead and take the 3D text, or take the text layer, take the text composition, and import it to the 3D text composition. So now we have our text right here. Control Y again to create a new solid, name it BG. So pretty much create another black solid, put it underneath there for now. We're going to duplicate the text composition, so Control or Command D. So now we have two copies of it. Click on the bottom copy, hit F on the keyboard, and scale it down to 99% or 98, depending on what text you have, depending on how long it is. You may want to play around with 98 or 99, but one of those. 
And then let's go to Effect, Color Correction, and Curves, and pretty much darken the back text layer. So what we did was scale it down and turn the brightness down so it looks like it gives it a look that's 3D, but it's not actually a 3D, it's just another replica scaled down on the back. So it gives you like a 3D feel, but it's not actually 3D text, so don't get confused. So delete the background layer again, create another new composition, and name it Shatter Effects. Same setting, click OK, and go into the Projects tab and import 3D text composition back into here. I'm going to position it correctly. So now we have your 3D text, Control or Command Y, again, click PG, and create another black solid, put it under here, so now we have our black background. And then go back to the effects and presets and search pixel poly. TZ pixel poly under simulations. Click and drag it and apply it to the 3D text. So now we have shattering. I'm going to change the gravity down to zero. And then I'm going to go move the time indicator to about seven seconds. Change the force down to zero. Spinning re resolution to zero. And then click on the stopwatch for force and spinning. Press page down to move one frame ahead and change the force to 100, revolution to one, and degrees to 300. So let's, let's take a look at what we have now. We have our text right here and then click a U and then once it passes that keyframe right here, it's going to shatter. And as you see, our parts are kind of big so we want to scale it down. We want to decrease the grid spacing to about 15. So now it's nice and small and fine. And so what we have now is our text and it shatters. Looking good, but this is not what you saw in the preview video. This is actually the reverse of what you saw in the preview window, preview video. So what we're gonna do now is create another composition, our last composition. Wait, delete our background layer first. Create a new composition, name it BG, or actually main comp. This is our final comp. Same settings, and import the shatter effect composition back into here again. Control Y to create another black solid and make it underneath the shatter effect layer. So now we have our text and it's shattering again. And what we want to do now is reverse it. So click on the shatter effects composition, click on the timeline, right click, and go to time and time reverse layer. So what we did now is actually reverse the layer. So what happened in the beginning is going to happen at the end. So now we're just going to offset it a little bit. Let's start it from right here. Oh no, we're starting from right here. So move it before zero seconds. So we have now is this in the beginning and then it goes in and it comes to a total text. So what we can do now is set opacity keyframes. So hit T on the keyboard, set a stopwatch, set it to 0%, move about three seconds right here and set the opacity to 100. So what we, na what we have now is a fading effect, so it's nothing and then it fades in, you see particles coming and everything just fades in. Maybe just move that forward a little bit and offset this a little bit. So already we have this nice opacity and then tech coming in. And we want to create a camera move when, when it comes in so it doesn't stay still like that. So right before it comes in, right, right around there, let's create a new camera. And 35 millimeter is fine, click OK. Toggle the switches again and make sure that the shatter effect is 3D. Make sure that cube is checked. Click on P on the camera, set a stopwatch. And maybe move around four seconds after the text is complete and just decrease or actually increase the Z value. X, Y, Z, increase the Z value. So basically, before it comes in, and once it comes in, the camera moves forward and it gives you like this tracking zooming effect so that your text doesn't look boring when it stays when it stays still. So basically this is the main gist, this is the structure on how to create this, this nice metal texture. I gave you the structure, the tutorial. What you want to do is modify it, play around with it, experiment with the settings, change the values and your parameters, and make sure it matches on what you want. So that that's that's all for now. This that, that's the video tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you, hope you guys learned something in this video tutorial. Modify it, play around with it, do whatever you want with it. And there's a project file in the video description. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe, check out my video tutorial. 
and check out my channel for more video tutorials and thanks for watching guys